Welcome back to this lecture. Greet with regards to your time and let's jump into this. So we left off from our previous lectures. I'm, I'm just going to correct some minor changes. So I just saw just now. Uh, over here. And yeah. So on the, the legs over here, I'm going to press G, press F, push the brush size. This should be flat down almost and decrease the brush size. So I'm gonna hold on control and just push these inwards like that. Even this one just a bit. And then press F, I'm going to come in here and pick up these guys. Let's create that curvature. Still using the grab brush just to iterate this. Now these subtle changes, they do count a lot. Smooth this out. Look at that. I might have made it way too skinny. So I just push some of that back. Look like at that. Oh, yeah, we go. Now let's continue on the back. Same process, just redefining some of their muscles at the back also. I'm going to grab the clay strips brush and press F. I'm going to start over here and do tense fascia covering the sotoris. I'm going to add this fascia also. And I'm going to press F. I'm just going to create that bony landmark. I'm just going to exaggerate it for now. That and we'll continue. And then coming from the back, we have our glutes with the, with the I'm just going to combine it with the biceps femoris. Dial that down. Just just for the fun's sake, I'm just gonna roughly create those vertebrae. I know they they don't look like this, but this is a creature and this one at the back I'm just gonna pronounce it make it more pronounced. So it's all about mixing the anatomy and creature design and art actually. Just being creative, just mixing reference. And styling everything together. I'm 
Alright, we'll come in this side. Unlock him up. And I'm gonna give him a, a patella. And a raptus femoris muscle also. The shape of a muscle is normally found in humans. So he's mixing that up. Okay, just leave that for now. Again, just switching our reference. Press G. If not too much. I'm just redesigning this. It looks more more like convincing as it it Push that backwards. Uh, pick them up. Same process, pick them up. Okay, just push it inwards. Then yeah, push this downwards. Probably smooth it out, but then it wouldn't be too precise. Snap it at the side of you. So now it's me just revisiting those shapes with the, the grab brush. Where I kind of went to the board, I'm just pushing those vertices and just making those some of those lines a bit straight. And dialing down some of some of those muscle forms. Like that. I'm gonna go back to my K strips brush. Control R to remesh. Ctrl S to save and press F and repeat the brush. And start with my gas left minus. Gas left minus muscle. Building it up. So it's on the side, it's creating that bony landmark. Help us serve as guide. Building some form there. And then some of the tibialis muscle tibialis. Tibus and tear is actually on this side. On this side. So I'm just recreating them as groups. Just kind of looking for 
a muscle shape group that looks very exciting as you can see i'm combining these muscle forms together and if you hold on control to take that in that zoom in I'm gonna do the same thing what I've done from that side see over here I probably need to move these nails because they're kind of not lining up so in uh, Blender 3.0 or 3.3, I mean, you can switch between subtools by holding on Alt and Q. You see it highlights these guys, and then you can work on these ones. Where out like previously, you would need to go to to object mode and then come back, but now you can. Do that very very easy. Okay, you see I'm just moving these way easy and hold on Alt Q again. Auto option Q and I can switch between sub tools very fast. So it's just a quick tip. And building forms around the way. Just creating that feel that these nails are coming actually coming from the inside. Like that. Like so. And then obviously the knuckles now. I like to emphasize them a bit more. Kind of gives it that interesting look. And probably come on the side there, so build that up. I don't like the shape, so I'll probably grab the grab brush. It's if I like how that with the grab brush, you can just iterate those forms very, very fast. That's why it kind of helps you not um, work with high resolution models at this stage because you, you see how we can just move. Everything very very easy here with this control R to remesh and then press control S. As we have a board, I'm gonna press uh, clay strips again, hold on control. So dial that down a bit. Bumps. Like that. And just fixing this here. Hold on control, take it again. Bring that 
Like, like looking at at our model in Oangos kind of helps us a lot. So I will want to speed this guy. I'll grab a Alt Q and just gonna rotate this guy alone. Press F with the grab brush. A key again. Just re-evaluating the shape. Hold on out to snap on the side. Photographic view, I mean and see the shapes in more detail. Like those minor movements, they, they count a lot. Like these minor changes I'm making here, they contribute a lot on, on the silhouette, overall silhouette. At the very end, before we even approach adding detail to this model, the overall silhouette needs to look that precise. Yet. And I'm just going to push these in a bit. Kind of wins over body. Just to push this. And on this angle. Just push it upwards like that, and we have that on our model. So we have our legs roughly in place. Just increase the spine roughly in the correct control R to remesh. Uh, probably just. Pick this side up a bit and here at the bottom. Yeah, that's what I was looking for, like this bendy. You see now these minor changes are, are, are kind of working for us here, as you can see. a bit too much. Just dial it down a bit. And that. And again, still not smoothing out as yet. Like so. Push some of these inside as a just for the fun of it. Push it way inside. Trust me, these these minor changes will pay off sooner or later. Now I'm just walking around the model. And just checking. Rotate. Look at the shape if you like the shape. If you don't, again, come back with your grab brush. And reiterate. Move some of these guys.
Shift backwards. I like to make my bicep to very tight, tiny. Hold on control, I'm gonna push, pull it outwards, following the normals. And again, just rotating around, panning around and looking at the overall silhouette. Make sure that it, it makes sense to you first. I'm not concerned about the face overall as like precise right now. It's pushing back this way. This is the major part we I just push back this a tad. And it is give it that curvature. Pick it up. Give it that big rib cage. On the top also. This is way too, way too big. Start it down. Get big butts there. Like that. We'll push back some of these guys also. Can you see it helps just looking around your model a lot. So that's it for this part. And again, thank you guys for your time. And I'll see you guys in the next one.